Where do you go when you want a nice meal? Perhaps you order a steak from the Capitol Grill. Or maybe you prefer scallops from McCormick & Schmicks. When you desire a delectable dinner, did you ever consider going to the zoo? While fine dining may not be the first thought people have when they watch a sea lion swallow a fish, that's exactly what it is. The Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium purchases nearly 800 tons of food annually to feed nearly 4,000 animals, and the food purchased is of the highest quality. If, if we wouldn't eat it, we would not give it to the animals, so they get really good produce. Jessica and Kira work in the zoo's kitchen. They prepare all of the animals' diets and then distribute them to the keepers. Every, every diet for every animal in the zoo comes from here. Most of the produce, we do weigh out meat for the river otters, the polar bears, the African wild dogs, and the black bears. Each animal has a specific diet that has been planned out by a veterinarian. Different animals all have different diets, so they are all individually prepared, weighed, and placed into bags. For example, orangutans eat things like high fiber sticks, celery, and romaine lettuce. Something you may not know about animals at the zoo is they are incredibly picky eaters. They only eat certain things if it's done a certain way. If they don't like the taste of it, if they're sick of eating it, they just don't eat it. It just sits there. I believe the oranges and apples failed his rating system. The apples probably were not ripe, real ripe, so they weren't sweet. And the orange obviously wasn't just the way he picked at it. The bears at the zoo eat primarily fruits and vegetables. Rocky, a large Kodiak bear, frequently dines on apples, oranges, yams, and carrots. Produce and meat are not the only menu items offered at the zoo. Seafood has also become a popular catch thanks to the sea otters. These animals like the big ticket items. Their shrimp, clams, and other dietary staples are all restaurant quality. The sea otters are, um, uh, I guess high maintenance is probably the nicest way to put it. The sea otters, they get restaurant quality seafood. Two otters. I'm spending $40,000 a year on seafood for those two animals. Just like a good meal at a fancy restaurant, from time to time, the animals get dessert. Usually, these treats are for good behavior, but animals also get a delicious dish on special occasions. And then on any one of the bears' birthdays, we give all of them treats. And what are these treats? Depending on the animal, they are often items you may find in your own refrigerator, like sweeter fruits, berries, raisins, and yogurt. Sometimes the animals will even get their fiber bars soaked in Juicy Juice or Gatorade to make them taste better. It is evident that food preparation at the zoo is one extensive operation, and as long as what the animals are served is up to their standards, everything goes smoothly. They look at me and say, oh, there's that nice man that brings us food. So some of them would still like to eat me, but as long as I feed them every day, they don't take a bite out of me. So it's, we have a wonderful working relationship.